Hey guys, let's keep tinkering. I'm back. Sorry about my super ghetto recording location here. Uh, I just moved to a new place and I'm still settling in. So I don't really have my area set up to make videos yet. So this is just real quickie. Um, three guns here. All are unloaded. Safe, obviously. I have the PT-111 G2. Uh, wow. This is the PT-111 G2. You can't tell these guns are similar at all. This is the G2S and this is the G2C. So I've got a couple things going on here. Um, as you guys have seen before on the G2S, this is my pseudo backstrap trigger, single action only. This gun currently has the stock trigger because I wanted to show you guys kind of what's going on in this video. Right, it's got the long take up there of the double action. And this had a request for recently. This is the, don't mind me, my little pet bird is just wanting me nothing but trouble here. Um, this is the Curve, which I've had this model for quite a while, the single action only Curve. And this has been modified to be a double action. So the take up is longer on this, but it is a double action trigger. So I want to show you guys kind of how this works, what it looks like. Um, it is obviously a longer take up than the uh, single action only. However, let me see if I can get this. One of the things, and this is probably easiest to show with this guy. It's hard to do this to get it exactly. One of the things is my triggers reduce over travel as much as I can while still allowing a goodly number, upper 90s percentage of the triggers to work correctly without any modification. So what I'm trying to do on mine is reduce the uh, pre-travel and over-travel. So as you can see, let me see if I can link. You are not being helpful here, buddy. It's my pet bird. So as you can see, where the trigger fires, it'd help if I'd actually pulled the safety lever. So, it's, it's really hard to see on this guy. But after the trigger fires, it keeps traveling quite a ways back, right? See, it, it fires right about there, and then it travels a ways back. Whereas on mine, as you can see, it fires that's all the over travel you get after it fires right there so this trigger has probably a little less pre-travel a little bit less pre-travel than the stock trigger not a ton but a little bit less and quite a bit less over travel it also gets rid of the trigger safety for those of you that have had problems with those I know uh, quite a few Taurus guns have if you want to get rid of that and you just like the feel of my triggers better, but you want to keep that restrike or the double action, this might be a good way to go. And if I get a couple people who seem interested in this, I'd be more than happy to get this um, to get this model uh, set up and get some get some going, and get some prototype testers. So if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments below. So that's what we're going for here. So real quickly. What we're going to do is take a look. As I said, this is a stock G2C, stock G2C trigger, which a lot of people do think is a little better than the PT-111 G2. And I do agree, on my particular model, it was a little bit smoother. The trigger was a little smoother, still same length, uh, trigger weight pull pretty much, but it, it did seem a little bit better. So what we're looking for here I'll have to do a couple of math here real quick. All the way forward. We're looking at almost one inch. 0.993 inches. All the way back. 0.157. Sure, that's right. Uh, point one five two four. So we bring 
this guy up all the way forward 0 0.951 all the way back 0.1366 this guy and these are rough measurements because your figure your finger won't always fall on the same spot on the trigger mine are kind of made so you have a, a little bit of a range there of where it might be comfortable you know depending on where you where you are you'll pull a different length see here so that's 0.744 all the way forward and all the way back is 0 0.06 uh, 0 0.070 I'll be back in just a second all right, guys, I finished up my math homework here. Uh, unfortunately, I can't crank out numbers like that in my head. But uh, as you can see, and I didn't always list the numbers correctly. Sometimes I burned a one or didn't say it or whatever. My micrometer, though, I did show the readings on everything. So if you go back, you can see that this is what it actually showed. So the stock travel was 0.591 inches. So pretty close to 6 tenths of an inch on the, the stock trigger pull. The SADA action this guy right here uh, oh, quick quick once again it is clear so you've got that double action available to you and also does the same single action like a stock does so that is 0.415 inches which comes out to really close to 70 percent of the stock trigger travel so we can still we can cut out about 30 percent of the original trigger travel and um, keep the double action or restrike, however you want to call it on this particular gun. And of course, my single action only trigger is pretty short, point, uh, three to six inches total travel, or about 55% of the travel of the stock trigger. So let me know if you guys are interested in me creating some of these. If I get a few people who say they're, they're definitely interested in that, I can get the 3D model mocked up, uh, get everything set, get some from my supplier, which I do have to order some in bulk, so I want to make sure there's something that people are interested in first. But if you're interested in that, um, you know, in the shorter than stock trigger, but you want to keep that that double action, just let me know. Say so in the comments. Drop me an email at keeptinkering at gmail.com. Uh, send me a message on eBay if you like. Just let me know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hit subscribe if you like what you saw, and have a great day. Thanks, guys.